Hi, how Hi, are you? How you doing? Ooh, we're rolling. <laughs> More books this week. <laughs> so welcome to this episode of Jing TV. Um, gonna, this time we've got anatomy books. We're gonna always introduce Jing TV. <laughs> welcome to this episode of Jing TV. Uh, this week we're gonna look at some anatomy books that we've grabbed from the office. Um, anatomy is really important. You've got to know it. It's your roadmap to the body. And actually, in Jing, we look at anatomy from not just from a Western point of view around muscles and bones um, and fascia, um, but also from an Eastern point of view. So you know, Oriental anatomy and physiology is around the energy channels and the meridians, mm -hmm. right? Um, so we're going to show you a few different anatomy books. Um, this we think every massage therapist should have, without a doubt. Um, Andrew Biel and whoever the illustrator is, Robin somebody, I think. I'm not sure, but anyway, they've done a massive service to the massage community um, with this book. So not only gives you obviously really good anatomy in the trail guide, but more importantly, how to palpate things. Oh, great. Yeah. So exactly how to palpate. We actually run a long musculoskeletal anatomy course in Jing over nine months. Um, and before we ran it, I was like, oh my God, it's going to take me months to, to write, write and you know, find all the resources. And then I looked at the trail guide and I was like, oh my God, it's got everything that I need. And actually, if you're a teacher out there, um, there's also a whole load of teaching resources as well, multiple choice quizzes. Well, there's a whole student guide that yeah. you can also purchase that's less money yeah. and than this one. And they work together and it's really good for any student. So teachers can recommend it to the students, but also just people who want to learn their anatomy. So it has lots of like self quizzes and bits and pieces so you can know the muscles. Yeah. The other thing um, is, and the new edition's got a DVD. Yeah. You know, again, these editions have just improved all the time. I think the first one didn't even have a ring kind of <laughs> thing, which we still have. We've got all these first editions. Maybe they'll be really worth loads of money one day. Um, and I have to say, for those who out there kind of getting apps and you know loads of apps around anatomy, they're absolutely fantastic. But there's something different about having a book that you can use as a resource and also using it in your treatment room to show people muscles because people do not know about the body. Nobody educated us in school about our muscles and our bones so when people are in pain they're really surprised that muscles are actually connected, yeah, you know, yeah. so it's really this, good. This DVD shows you um, the palpation as well, which is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess that's him, Andrew. He looks nice, doesn't he? Yeah, it? let's yeah, find out who the illustrator jolly. is. You want to go out for a drink with Andrew? Okay. All right. You find out who the illustrator is, and I'll talk about the web that has no weaver. Okay. Because we have to tell about her. All right. All right. A second book that we recommend for anatomy is an Eastern book. Also, this one is our first edition, very battered. The web that has no weaver. Um, and this book is a different kind of form of reading. It's almost like a story. And I really think it gives a great feel of what traditional Chinese medicine is about and how you can integrate it with your Western work. It gives a great um, illustration of some of the different meridians, very, very simple, and actually how to diagnose. So, you know, that for instance is the liver meridian. But it's easy to read. And I think with a lot of traditional Chinese or Asian texts, they become very complicated because it is a very complex subject matter. And when we teach it, we often say, no matter how much time we have with you, we can only teach you the very tip of a massive iceberg. Um, because more than any other discipline, I think Eastern disciplines take more than one lifetime to master. So, you know, this is just dipping into something, but it's something that we really recommend. And also it has some great appendix um, with different charts. And it really stimulates your mind on how to think about the body in a very different format than your straight up anatomy. Yeah. Um, this is another favorite of mine, The Source, Grey's Anatomy. Oh, it's beautiful. Not the TV series, <laughs> but the book. 
Um, so, however, hundreds of years, this was the hundredth year edition, and God knows how many, you know, how old this is. I picked this up from a second hand bookshop, and it's a lovely edition because it's in colour. Um, but you can, um, you know, pick Grey's Anatomy up really cheaply, mm. um, you know, loads of places. The Strand in New York has always got a great source for these kind of books. Yeah. Um, you know, and the reason I love Grey's Anatomy is, you know, you've got great illustrations like these that show where all the attachment points for the muscles are. Um, obviously, it's not just looking at the muscles, it also talks about the fascia, fascial continuities, um, and there's great... I didn't know of, that! So yeah. even in Grey's Anatomy, they're talking about fascial continuities. Yeah, it it's talks great. about the fascia, where the fascia's coming from, all those kind of things. And these great kind of classic illustrations... They're beautiful. Um, ...that we're so used to seeing, but I mean, they're just amazing, aren't they? But I think, again, if I can make another plug for books, yeah. there's something nice about the weight and beauty of them. They kind of get lost in our search for questions on um, Google or the computer. So yeah. it's really great to have it as also a beautiful gift, I yeah. think, in your clinic spaces. Yeah. Um, and also, I believe it's true, please do correct me if I'm wrong, but because um, these books are so old, um, they're actually out of copyright. So if you're oh, teaching, yeah. you can actually use those illustrations yeah. uh, royalty free. So mm -hmm. that's a great gift that Grey has passed <laughs> down um, through the ages. So get yourself a copy of Grey's Anatomy. Mm -hmm. um, and finish, um, if you're interested in the anatomy of fascia, um, we recommend uh, Tom Meyer's book. Tom Meyer's is great, charismatic guy, has really brought um, uh, you know, our knowledge of fascia uh, more into the mainstream. So thanks for that, Tom. Um, and uh, this is really about how um, the fascia of the body fits together in what Tom calls uh, the anatomy train. So um, you've got lots of different chapters, great illustrations there. Um, so, you know, really that's another map of the body, not just the muscular map of the body, um, but actually how the fascia, um, you know, uh, one theory certainly of how, you know, there are other theories out there. There's somebody else who came up with a theory of how the fascia fits together. Um, so we definitely recommend that. Um, and there also is a DVD. And also has a nice DVD yeah. with some good bits and pieces. And I'd say, just as a point of reference, if you choose to do a bit of studying around anatomy trades, pick up also a very, very simple, almost coffee book table of the um, traditional Chinese meridians and put yeah, it side yeah. by side because there's some terribly uninformed Chinese he meridian goes into books. That at the end. Um, does it? Well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, in this edition. Again, in the first edition. Uh, we didn't really see too much correspondences between the Eastern oh, and Western, yeah. but in this oh, the one, new, again, the newer editions, they get me every time. My fascial meridians and oriental Great. medicine. Great, good. Yeah. yeah. So, and not only does he talk about the Chinese meridian lines, um, but also the Sen, sen lines. Oh, he's going to say time, time massage. massage. I think we also picked up, didn't we, that there was correspondences. Um, so great book, you know, Tom's a good guy and, you know, nice book. Yeah. Hey. Thank you.